All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. I am just sitting on a pier right now, and uh, yeah, I uh, forgot to do the intro, so I'm doing it right now. And uh, yeah, thumbs up for catching crappies. Uh, obviously, the thumbnail you guys seen it. Uh, I'm catching them on the, my Tuned Up Customs Apex Elite Ultralight. This thing's so fun. Uh, what is this thing? It's a this is a seven two, but uh, yeah, I'm throwing this super light Kalen's grub and. They are snacking on it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. If you guys are looking to copy me or do the same thing with the baits and everything like that, I'll always have it listed in the description below. But yeah, enjoy the video. This is the first crappie of the year. I know they get bigger, but I'm happy I found one. Back to the Kalins and it's literally a Kalins Kalins setup, so crappie scrub, 164th ounce jig head. Killer for early spring crappies. I'll link everything below that I'm using today, but this is just one of those things that if you have it, you probably already know. <laughs> it catches fish. The trick is figuring out what kind of retrieve they want. A lot of times they just want it barely twitching through the water. Got another one. All these little guys. Couple little guys. Crappie. Yeah, they're t the little ones are in right now. There's a bunch of little bluegills in here. Yeah, they're always in here. Yeah, when it warms up, it's usually a good time. That's a better one. It'd be an eater if I was looking for one. About a 10. Good to see. Hopefully there's a bunch of those guys. I just want to catch a bunch of fish today. It's super nice out and this spring is getting rough up down with the cold weather and it's just not fun when you're trying to chase these guys because it gets cold, they go away. I can see them down there. Millions of these guys. This lake is not hurting for a crappie. I'm gonna take a second here and throw this jerk bait that catches bigger fish usually. Let's see if it works. Water might still be too cold. I think it's probably only like 42, 43 degrees. Might be 45 back in here. It is pretty dark. Okay, I'm going back to the crappie scrub because I'm watching them follow that jerk bait in, but uh, they just won't attack it, which usually means the water's too cold. It's an easy way to tell how cold the water is. What's funny is the crappie scrub's always moving, so they still have to chase it down. But for some reason, the bigger bait, they just won't commit to. There's one. There's one. Yeah, that's all I'm fishing for. <laughs> what color you got on? It's the 
it's that same thing that everybody used like five years ago that uh, I think it's called a June bug. Yeah, June bug chartreuse. Everybody used to use it and then they stopped. Yep. Yes, I am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something else, you know. You know, just for some little cash maybe or something to do, but otherwise, fuck it. Oh, that's a bluegill. <laughs> There's one of those bigger ones. Oh, not what I wanted. <laughs> it's a large mouth. <laughs> Got me all excited. <laughs> yeah, he would have been a good crappie. <laughs> There we go. Right species. <laughs> There's a big one. Let me see if we can get him in. recording I was recording so that's a that's the first like 11 of the day Just need to get a little bit bigger and I'll be super excited but uh these guys are really lucky I'm not keeping fish today so that guy was down deeper What is that? Not a good one. Oh. Another decent fish. They're sitting down deep. Gotta let the bait drop a little bit. Every once in a while, a gill will eat it. <laughs> Not regular, but they do eat it. <laughs> yeah, those bigger ones are down deep. I just, I had to like drop my nose a couple times and then one came out of the dark. I have, uh, I have my sight fishing glasses on and I can kind of see them coming up, but the water's so dark that if they're deeper than like two feet, I can't tell. And I think this water in here is usually about three, four feet deep. So they must just be cruising along the bottom and seeing it come above them. So if you guys aren't seeing fish come up after your baits with sight fishing glasses on, and uh, you're not getting them up high, just slowly work it down this, the water column and eventually you'll get them. Bluegills are getting more active. That's a bigger crappie. 
Can I get them in? <gasps> so the solid year class looks like it's uh, about 10, 11 inches. I have to come back out and do some more and keep some of these guys. Haven't had any crappie since the winter. They're getting bigger. <laughs> Not what I'm after. Although I might have to make some time to do some bass fishing here. guys do not hesitate to smash a jerk bait when the water's cold. Okay, back to the crappie scrub. All I'm seeing is bass chasing my uh, jerk bait, which as fun as they are, I'm trying to get a slab here. I just want one giant crappie and I'll be very, very happy with my day. <laughs> I watched this guy come up and miss it, so I dropped it right back in front of his face because he was doing circles, <laughs> and then he ate it. So yeah, sight fishing glasses for the win. <laughs> I mean, that's a decent little gill for this area. I don't think they get much bigger anymore out here. They used to be really big. But, you know, same old, same old. First slow roller. So another way I fish these these baits is I just slow roll them really really slow and you just wait till they they come up and pop it usually you get a good hook set without setting the hook super hard too so another one little slow roller. Some of these guys are just, they're warmer than the other ones. So they're biting a lot more aggressive, I think. Of course, I wasn't recording. That's probably seven and a half, eight inch gill. I'd like to see them bigger than that, but work with what you got. All right, guys. Uh, I don't know what you guys are going to see last exactly. I've just been kind of sporadically getting medium-sized bluegills and medium-sized crappie all day. Um, but it was a pretty good day, considering it's the first day I've actually been able to kind of cast for some fish. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I've basically been throwing... Um, this is my Apex Elite Ultralight. It's a 7.2. Uh, I run 4-pound P-line on here. And then I got a 1000 series reel. I don't think they make this reel anymore, but I'll have everything else linked in the description below. Uh, if I can find these jigs, these work really good. They're actually a Kalen's jig. So this is a Kalen's crappie scrub, um, but then that's a jig. I'm not sponsoring or work with them or anything, but this is like a 164th ounce. So super light, but it's got a wire keeper, keeps the bait on there real good. And uh, yeah, works really good for early season panfish, as you guys can see, I mean, bluegills, crappie, small bass <laughs> everything eats it so if you guys are looking to go out and do some uh, early season pan fishing here pre-spawn give it a try hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and uh see you guys next time